Hello world! Here is my selection of the best videos of January 2018. Our first video, which is actually the first video that ever fell into my sub box on January the 1st. 2018 it is the ultimate compact sleeper pc build by linus tech tips first video of the year at least for me it was and uh, if you are unfamiliar with the concept of a sleeper build it takes its origin in the domain of car modifications where a sleeper car is when someone takes a car that is a simple cheap car with unrequited looks and change all the interior, like the, the engine and shit, with uh, really powerful and, and new materials. It's exactly what they do in there. Uh, they take a really old PC case from about 30 years ago, and inside they put a GTX 1080 Ti and an i7 8700K. And uh, yeah, it's a fun video with nice concept, really good aesthetics, so... Uh, that, that is my first uh, video of the month. Second one is uh, Amazing Frog, uh, James and Mike Monday's video by the channel Cinemassacre. The game is actually called The Amazing Frog? Question mark, and it's very, very much the spiritual successor of Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator, which is almost four years old now. They seem to have a lot of fun doing it, so it's good that they took one for the team and, and tried a early access game, because uh, this one seems really, really fun, and the video itself is really, really fun to watch. Number three, it's uh, Making McDonald's Best Items and Breaking My Fast Food Addiction by uh, Brothers Green Eats. It's by one of the two brothers. Uh, I, I don't remember his name. I think it's uh, not Mike, but the other one. Instead of eating some dry, sad pieces of salad and shit, trying to make something really appetizing, but uh, here you can control exactly what you put in it so it, it, hasn't, it has a lot less shit. That is unnecessary, like um, extra sugar and, and preservatives and, and palm oil and all that. Here is just fresh ingredients from the market and you make sandwiches that are as fast and appetizing than the McDonald's shit, even, even better, of course. So, uh, great video, great concept. Number four is another food video, this time from First We Feast. Um, they taste a lot of uh, foods from all the different regions of China. Well, not all the regions, because China is a really big country with a lot of diversity, especially in its uh, cuisine. And uh, yeah, I think they, they try uh, dishes from eight different regions and see how they differ from each other. This video not, not only is fun, but does a, a really good job of showcasing the, the diversity of uh, Chinese food. Number five, by Tech Quickie. What are Dolby, Atmos and DTSX? For a really long time I've struggled to understand what the hell is Dolby Atmos that everyone's bragging about. That, yeah, this computer has Dolby Atmos, this, these headphones have Dolby Atmos, this DTS uh, in this uh, Blu-ray, what the hell is this? And now, this video is five minutes and now I perfectly understand it all. Number six is Making Music Without Hearing It. Uh, it is made by four really talented YouTube musicians, Rob Scallon, Andrew Wong, Rumi, and Dave from Boyan Band. They're just putting notes and samples on, uh, I think it's Ableton Live. And uh, yeah, they're listening uh, only when the track is finished. Uh, it's a technique that I, that I personally love and I've used it uh, a lot, in, uh, especially in my album um, unfinished Business, which you can listen to here. It's a really fun video, four talented musicians having fun with uh, this uh, technique. Rob Scallon uh, then expanded on the concept on his own channel uh, with um, a video that he called Deaf Metal. Nice pun. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting if you're into it. Number seven. This one might surprise you. It's from a channel that I don't go on often, so I, I don't even remember the, the name. I think it's Everyday Food, something like that. And it's um, it's the, the recipe of uh, a brothy white beans and greens. Now, this might sound like something out of the ordinary, but um, well, I watch a lot of, of uh, food channels and of recipes on YouTube, and uh, this is one of the rare recipes where I, I, I looked at it and I said, wow, this looks 
awesome. This looks really, really good. I absolutely want to try this. I have not tried it yet because the beans that they use are a bit hard to find, but I'm, I'm going to... When it's less cold outside and I go out more often and more easily, um, I'm going to try this definitely. Now, the next one is uh, shaving my face from Jenna Marbles. Now, once again, this is kind of weird, but uh, the, the actual shaving part of the video is absolutely boring. And the, the makeup that she applies at the end looks kind of like garbage. But the, the beginning of the video, the beginning of the video where she has a, a discussion with her boyfriend about um, Gambit from X-Men, like what's what's his real power and, and all that. And it's absolutely amazing. It's I've watched it a bunch of times and it's really, really, really a, a great discussion. It feels like feels like real YouTube, you know? It feels like what YouTube should be all the time. That discussion about Gambit that they have in the beginning, absolutely amazing in my opinion. Next is Bob Fighting. So this is by a guy named uh, Terran Van Hemert, bike connoisseur, uh, keyboard macros expert, sheet poster extraordinaire, and editor-in-chief at the channel Linus Tech Tips. Now, uh, I linked this, but it's not exactly this video that I want to show you. He uploaded on his channel a bunch of videos of, of flash animations that he did when he was a kid, like um, a 10 or 15 years ago, and uh, I, I watched them all, like he uploaded, I think, five, and they're all amazing, and you, you can really see the, the, the uh, upgrade in quality in each video. It's absolutely mind-blowing how far he, he went uh, in, in two years, and yeah, those animations are really... Well, if you're as old as I am, you remember that uh, in the early days of the internet, there was a lot of things like that, especially on a site called Newgrounds, which I am very, very much nostalgic of. And uh, those animations will uh, will help you remember all these golden years. And uh, yeah, they are really amazing and deserve to be watched at least once. So I'm, I'm, I'll link the first one and then you, uh, you can go to his channel and navigate to the other ones after that. Next is Problems with mine uploading uh, from a channel called, called Exurb 1A. It's uh, kind of like a science channel, but much, much more British. I, I, uh, yeah, it's the best explanation I've got. And um, yeah, basically, if you like science and uh, explanation about technology and also humor like the Monty Python and uh, this kind of, you know, Discworld, that British shit, you're going to love this. Yeah, it's kind of like Doctor Who on crack. Next is 21 Strangest Movie Translation in Japanese from uh, Abroad in, in Japan. I think that's the name of the channel. It's a boring channel name, but who cares? Um, yeah, I thought we had it bad in France uh, with, with all the, the botched uh, translations that, that we have in you know, movie titles and, and names. And uh, he, this is guy is, is a British dude who lives in Japan. And he is showing a lot of really, really bad uh, movie title translations on the official posters uh, from Japan. And it's, it's really hilarious. I should do the same, but for French movies. That, that would be really funny. Uh, next is Styling My Hair Through the Years from Review Bra, report of the week, running on empty. Yo, I love this dude, and chances are so do you. Well, you know him. He's amazing. He does these crazy food reviews. And uh, with his uh, David Byrne suit from uh, the highlight of the Talking Heads era. And yeah, he's, he's just watching him. It's kind of like uh, better than ASMR. You know, it, it has a hypnotic quality to it. And uh, you, you watched a, a lot. I, re I remember his review of uh, uh, spring water versus c uh, clean water. Or I, You know, um, I mean, if you love him, Chances are you've already seen this, but um, yeah, recently, uh, I think it was around Christmas, he made a video about his skincare routine, and this is another 25-minute video about how he styled his hair through the years, and yeah, it's worth it. It's also one of the good YouTube shit that makes YouTube so good, in my opinion. Review bra, a man. Uh, next is Shrimp Treadmills and five other odd research projects by... Sci show. Oh fuck my red skate. Come, come here, come here, come here, you idiot. Dumb shit. 
So, Shrimp Treadmills and Five Other Odd Research Projects by SciShow. Uh, I think I, would, I, I think it's a great video because a lot of times we hear about uh, this research made by, by uh, state-funded labs. And if you are like me, you hate paying taxes and you wish you would pay less. Uh, and uh, when you hear about these research projects that are funded by uh, the, the state, you're like, oh, look at what they're doing with our money. And sometimes it makes you kind of, you know, kind of angry. But uh, here's a good explanation on how some offbeat uh, science projects are not quite as offbeat as they sound. And actually, there's a good reason why they put this shrimp on a treadmill. And uh, there's a good reason why a lot of weird-sounding experiments are made. And it's less, um, and it's not really often what you think. So, great video, really informative. Uh, I really enjoyed watching it. Leave my ears alone, bitch. Next is, oh, this one is amazing. I was really impressed by this. It's Recording on 100-Year-Old Equipment by Rob Scallon. So this is a two-parter. I linked uh, in the comments, I linked the first part. And uh, in the second part, he, he's with his metal band and, and they record a whole track uh, with this. And uh, on, on the first uh, video, it's uh, just him solo with his guitar and singing. And uh, yeah, he recorded uh, uh, some new tracks on wax cylinders, you know, this, this old stuff from a hundred years ago, and it's got these big brass trumpets that engulf the sound waves in, and uh, yeah, basically that's it, basically that's it, he records new tracks on wax cylinders from uh, more than a hundred years ago, and it's really amazing to watch, uh, kind of nerdy, but really, really, in, really, really, in a really, really cool way. Uh, next is another music video, The Rubber Chicken Instrument by Andrew Wong. Another really, really cool music project. Basically, it's really simple. He uses um, one of these rubber chicken that makes a sound like this. And uh, the chicken has an air pump inside uh, inside his body. And so he's used the, the, the pump to uh, modulate the sounds. And then he, he, he does some uh, music arrangements uh, on that. And it's really amazing. Uh, I mean, may, not, not, not amazing, maybe, but really, really fun and cool. Next is, which smartphone do they actually use by Unbox Therapy? Uh, the guy from Unbox Therapy, which is an amazing host, by the way. I really wish he would do more videos with guests, because he's really, really good at it. He asked a bunch of uh, top tech dudes, with like Linus Sebastian, um, MKBHD, Austin Evans, uh, Your Average Consumer, and um, a bunch of other ones. What smartphone do you use in as your daily driver? What is the smartphone that you use every day? Because all these YouTubers do a lot of reviews of, of really cool smartphones, but which one do they really use on a daily basis? Which one do they really prefer? So they emails them and empty their pockets and explain what phones do they have and why. That's a really interesting video. Next one is by Bill Wurtz. Now, everyone and their moms has seen at least 100 times his video called History of Japan, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, recently uh, he made another one called History of the World, I guess. I say recently, but I think it was a year ago. And uh, yeah, he makes, he makes a lot of short songs. Usually it's run one minute long, and uh, that's a proper that's a proper pop song that he made, uh, which is really really funny. And I wish that "Too Small for the Mole" had became a meme because, in my opinion, it had a lot of potential, but it didn't. But yeah, this song is really really cool on several levels. Like it's a good song, and also it, the lyrics are super funny in a pure Bill Wirtz fashion. And it's called "La di da di da di da di deo." Next is. Golden Girls Coloring Book live stream by Cinemassacre. No, that's a really funny story. Mike Matei, uh, the half of Cinemassacre, uh, was in uh, some shop and store and uh, he saw a Golden Girls Coloring Book. And so he tweeted, uh, oh, a, a thousand retweets. And uh, tonight, instead of the usual uh, video game uh, Let's Play, I will do a live stream of me coloring uh, uh, the... Golden Girls Coloring Book, if, yeah, if I get a, a thousand re retweets, and of course he got the thousand retweets in, I think, less than an hour, and it is as amazing as it sounds. One hour and 30 minutes of live Golden Girls Coloring Book. Watch this. It's, it's, it's really one of the best things I, I, I've watched recently. 
Uh, next is a uh, classic game Enthusiast's Dream, a really clickbaity title from Linus Tech Tips. Them, it's not really a review. It's more like, yeah, these exist. So uh, there's a, a Game Boy. There's uh, an Atari. Uh, I think it's a emulator box. And there's um, a Mega Drive, uh, but it's not a Mega Drive emulator because, as you may know, if you are into retro gaming, all the Mega Drive emulators suck, more or less. And this is basically a new old tech, like it's not an emulator, it's genuine Mega Drive hardware, but in a new cleaner box with more modern stuff. The Game Boy especially it looks amazing, it's all aluminum, it's got this really great light and uh, it's uh, engineered uh, especially for the guys who do cheap tunes. so uh, I'm really, really interested in it. And the Atari, maybe, I don't know, I'm more into the Atari ST, I think it's uh, 2600 in the video, I, I don't remember exactly. But yeah, Nintendo, Atari and uh, Sega, just as the good old days of the Angry Video Game Nerd. Next is uh, <laughs> 116 year old chocolate from Ashens, my favorite YouTuber of all time. I love Ashens. And uh, usually what he does is he goes in these really cheap shops. There's something uh, typically British called Poundland, where it's a bunch of cheap shit uh, for one pound. And uh, usually it's like knockoffs and bootlegs. And uh, what he also does is that he tastes um, or tries really, really old food items and uh, I don't know if you know him, you remember that a bunch of uh, a time ago he had uh, some 100 year old olives and uh, the same guy who sent him the olives sent him 160 year old chocolate and this is priceless. His reaction when he opens the chocolate tin is priceless. I, st I still think about it and, and, and laugh, it's absolutely great. Next one is, I forget the name of the channel, I'm sorry. Um, and uh, it's how you can name a new planet in our solar system if it's real. And uh, basically, yeah, there's a new planet that has been discovered, that has been theorized to be in our uh, new solar system based on, on calculations. It's, it has not been seen, but there are um, evidence that it's probably there. So it's really exciting. I had not uh, heard about this planet before. Uh, this is a really great explanation on how the planets are discovered and how the, um, I think Neptune uh, was uh, proven to be there way before it could be observed by our by a telescope. Next is by the Indian channel B Bomb the ultimate fast charging battle. Now, if you're like me, the battery of your smartphone is one of your main concerns when you buy one, especially uh, how fast it charges. So B Bomb ch um, test a bunch of uh, recent smartphones that claim to have the fastest uh, charging uh, battery of all and yeah they're right um, I mean I think the OnePlus claims that for the OnePlus 5T but yeah it's uh, different configurations of charging like charging from 0% of battery charging from 15% and uh, how much can you get in, in 30 minutes all that really really informative video I, I enjoyed it a lot uh, battery for smartphones is the, uh, one of the main concerns for me and if it's the same for you this is definitely gonna interest you next is Dark Souls Saved Me by Nicky Jakey. This one is kind of different from what he what he does usually. Usually he does these funny reviews with a Timoneric vibe, and uh, but still well researched. And uh, this time it's, it's shut up. And this time it's it's uh, really different what he does. It's a uh, heartfelt um, remembering of his story of how he discovered Dark Souls. And how is he was really depressed at the time, and Dark Souls kind of uh, made him feel really better. I mean, I'm I'm really really summarizing it, and it's much more complicated than than this. But uh, yeah, it's a really great video, and uh, if you like video games, and uh, if you have some good video games memories, definitely this one is gonna strike a chord in you, and it uh, deserves watching. Next is uh, by Super Bunny Hop 2017 in review. Japan rises again, and yeah, uh, when I was a kid, and maybe when you were too, Japan was dominating the video game market with uh, Nintendo and Sega were the the biggest, most of the big companies of the time in video games, and maybe even in technology in general. 
uh, were Japanese. And in recent times, it has changed a lot with a lot of companies, uh, especially from America, from the USA, that, uh, that has, have become extremely big uh, in the video game market, like uh, I think about EA, Activision, Valve, of course, and Microsoft, who are now fully involved with their Xbox line. Uh, in the video game market, and for a few years, Japan s seemed like it was like dwindling, especially with events such as uh, the the really uh, disaster that was the Wii U, and especially with, with events like uh, Hideo Kojima getting fired from Konami. Uh, yeah, it seemed like the the Japanese market were was kind of like crashing, and uh, yeah, a lot of stuff happened. DDR wasn't cool uh, anymore. Final Fantasy kind of looked like it was kind of crashing and burning with all these stupid new games that they made. And uh, recently, I mean, really, really recently, uh, there there has been some amazing uh, Japanese game that have uh, come back on the on the forefront of the market. Uh, of course, there has been the Switch, which is extremely successful and I think the best, uh, the fastest selling console of all time. And um, yeah, of course, the new Mario, the new Zelda, new Dark Souls uh, last year. Um, what else? Uh, Persona 5. A fucking bunch of, of new Japanese games that uh, seem uh, to indicate a comeback of Japan in the video game market, which is great because, um, um, I mean, it's great because uh, they make a lot of really, really cool games and uh, a Probably the majority of my favorite games are Japanese. Big fan of Zelda. I'm big fan of Dark Souls. Yeah, wait, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's been a new Mario, new Zelda, two new Sonics. They all they all look really good. Uh, Neo, Nier Automata, etc., etc. Lots of new really cool games from Japan. That's really really exciting. I think and Super Bunny Hop. The dude uh, from the video seems to think the same. Next is uh, from Game Ranks. Why was the PS2 a big deal? Now, uh, PS2 was kind of important when I was uh, when I was a kid, and uh, why was it so, so so much a big deal? It's a really cool video with lots of cool uh, nostalgia bits in it, and uh, yeah, if you had uh, the PS2 when you were a kid or if you were already an adult, it's the same. Uh, it's it's a cool video to watch. It's uh, some good memories in there. Next is an amazing uh, video by the musician and music theorist uh, Adam Neely. So she, Adam Neely is my favorite music YouTuber. He's amazing and he talks about music like no one uh, I ever seen. And this uh, video is about the slowest music humanly possible. Uh, now, what is the slowest music humanly possible? Well, this question he explores in his video, which is, in my opinion, one of the best he ever did, made, he ever made. And, uh, yeah, really, really deserves watching if you're interested in music, even if it's just a little. It's a great video, really well made, interesting, funny, it has everything. The slowest music humanly possible by Adam Neely. Next is, oh, I don't know why I found this so incredibly funny, but it's by, it's by a, a cool small YouTuber called uh, KLMJKL, I think, and it's Steam Hams, you know, the f really, really famous Simpsons bit uh, with Skinner and the superintendent, Steam Hams, but Skinner's only says, my name Jeff. Now, that's, that's it, you know, all there is to know about the video, and I don't know why it made me laugh so much, because it's a really stupid concept, but uh, I laughed, I laughed, I laughed a lot. So I think it deserves watching. Next is a Hotline Miami Rap by Dan Bull. I love Dan Bull. He's a really, really funny man from uh, another British guy. And um, yeah, this time he made a rap song about Hotline Miami. Once again, it's a really simple concept and that's all there is to know about the video. Uh, it's it's kind of really weird to see uh, a guy that, that is so British uh, uh, singing about something that is so American, you know, Hotline Miami. It's really, really American uh, in, in its concept, in its atmosphere and everything. And he he says a lot of typically British words in his rap, and, and that's really weird. And uh, yeah, but uh, if you can go past this uh, weirdness, it's a really, really great song, really well made, 
about a really great game. Next is uh, Anthony Fenteno, the only one and only melon, uh, the no, uh, the needle drop, listening to computer generated music. And uh, yeah, it's a really exciting thing, computer generated music. If you're a nerd like I am, and um, if I mean I'm a tech nerd and I'm so a music nerd, so computer generated music is something that I automatically really really interested in and I thought that the music itself was really interesting lots of tempo changes and during the music that that, 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 that was something I would, I would absolutely not expect you would uh, expect from a computer to have something really robotic uh, with a you know a Kraftwerk kind of thing uh, with a uh, a pulse uh, that is that sounds like it's from a factory, but there the, the tempo keeps changing and the the music goes faster and slower and lots of interesting stuff in this uh, ten minutes of computer generated music presented by the one and only Anthony Fantano, Internet busiest music nerd. Next is another video by Exurbone. This one is called Bear and Goose at the End of Everything. It reminded me a lot about the works of Douglas Adams, you know, especially the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It has, uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, British and fun and poetic, and it's about civilization and the universe and how it starts and how it ends and how it evolves and uh, narrated by a bear <coughs> and a goose. Uh, beautiful video, also interesting and funny. So I think it really deserves a watch. Exurb One A. Uh, underrated channel. Next is Activision The Silent Killer by another underrated channel called Hogbox. A lot of people complain about EA recently and, and EA has been voted, I think it was in 2013 and 2014, two years consecutively to be the worst company in America. And uh, yeah, it's true, EA is terrible. EA is absolutely really really bad, but Activision is not far behind and maybe even worse and this video will explain you why or I mean it's an opinion piece obviously but it's got a, a really really great argument so I think you'll probably be convinced that's it that's my 31st and with this I conclude uh, my video about the best YouTube videos of January 2018 I hope I didn't say 2017 in the uh, introduction I hope this video won't be too long at the editing. I see that I uh, recorded about 45 minutes of material for a video that would should be one third of this. So I hope I can keep it under 15 um, at the final cut. Uh, yeah, that would be funny if I used final cut, but I use Premiere. Anyway, uh, see you in Sony Vegas. For some, oh my God. Um, let's, let's yeah, let's crack uh, together at the Da Vinci Resolve. Hey, video editing puns, right? Anyway, thanks for watching. If you really like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing because this channel is cool and I post a lot of cool videos and I need more subs. Come on! Uh, subscribe or die! <clears throat> and uh, if you really loved it, consider subscribing to my Patreon because uh, money's cool and uh, I need it to, yeah, like, live. So... That's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video and uh, my people, peace.